Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about portable storage solutions that are gonna expand the storage of all your electronics, uh, especially those that can connect via USB-C. And this is one of the sexiest enclosures that we've seen in a long time. Check this out. This is the Dock Case Explorer Edition. And doesn't that look amazing? When you see this thing turned on, you're gonna see what I'm talking about too. Now, obviously one of the key features is that it's a see-through case, but it's much more than just looks. First of all, uh, one of the things that makes this, uh, again, so convenient is the fact that it has an additional 15 watt uh, USB-C connector that allows this to connect to your smartphones as well. So you can have up to a four terabyte storage solution to connect to your iPad, to your Samsung phone, to any phone that can take Again, USB-C or for that matter, laptop or tablet. It has a 10 second power uh, recovery uh, solution. So power loss recovery solution that in the event that you lose power, you have 10 seconds of, I would say, backup power that are gonna prevent any kind of corruption. USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 uh, with this Type-C that's gonna give you 10 gigabits uh, processing speed, right? Uh, SSD Health, uh, M2 or M.2 NVMe, uh, SATA SSD capabilities, right, which gives you a really compact uh, form of storage. And as you can see, uh, very, very good looking aluminum alloy enclosure. Let's see how it works. Now at close up, you'll start to see some of the things I really like about this unit. And you can see its predecessor right here. So first of all, if we flip this over on the back, then the first thing that you'll notice is that the design is very similar. So here's the back of this one right here. Um, it's just a different color. Now the inside is gonna look also very similar and you can see uh, that you can mount a variety of solid state solutions here in the back in the M.2 line. Now, what we'll do is we'll flip this over and we'll flip this one over so that you can see how much of a drastic difference there are there is between these two. So you'll notice this one, beautiful transparent display. You can see everything that's going on here. This one has smoke and it has a display still in the center. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this um, to my phone because it's gonna give you, again, the ability to transfer files at speed um, on your phone. And the cool thing about this is that if your drive that you're connecting basically um, can't support it, and you're gonna see something that's gonna happen in a second, I'm gonna plug it into a different phone, you'll see that it may lack the juice to keep this going. So you'll see that in this case, my S22 Ultra does have enough, so it's gonna power up it's gonna check the drive, and then basically you can see all the content of the drive right there. Now, if you had a situation where, let's say for example, you didn't have enough power, because there's some uh, USB-C uh, ports that don't have enough power to power something like this, then what you could do is just take a cable, um, and I have one right here, uh, and then basically plug it in through this port right here. Now, two things are gonna happen. Uh, first of all, it's gonna make sure that you have enough power to support again, access to that storage device, right? Uh, one of the things that I will mention is that unfortunately it's not a pass-through. So even though I plugged it in, you did see that it kind of lit up and this little icon turned on and we're gonna unplug it again so you can see. You notice that there is, that's uh, not doing anything as soon as I plug it in. All you're gaining is making sure that you're powering the drive. Now, this is gonna be important because if you notice that the logo just pops up and turns off, pops up and turns off, that means that your USB-C port that you connected just doesn't have enough juice to push the actual uh, drive and turn it on. Now, let's see how quickly we can move files. All right, now the files that we're gonna move on my phone aren't incredibly large. We'll do a, uh, a large file test on my Mac in a second. But I'm just gonna grab some of, some of the videos that we've used to create um, some content on TikTok or Instagram. So what I'll do is I'll grab this one right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose copy. And I'm gonna come out for a second. And I see the drive right here. This is a 250 gig drive. You can see it right here. And I'm gonna say copy here. Fast. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a two gig file, 1.97, 1.87 gig file, and then copy it from the Mac that you see right here onto the drive. So we have this file, it's 1.87. And I'm gonna just drop it right here. I wanna see how fast it will transfer. That was fast. Did you get that? Let's do it one more time. We're gonna do another file. All right, so now this is a 1.87 gig file. Let's watch this again. See it? One, two, about four seconds. Four seconds for a two gig file. Pretty impressive. So guys, that wraps up our review. Definitely a cool drive to have. See you in the next one.